Hello! <laughs> I have no idea what the <laughs> I'm just in a very good mood because you know it's Friday. I like my shirt. It's Friday, I'm so happy to see you. It's Friday now and it's probably gonna Friday, be Friday. Friday, I'm in love. So. Da, 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 anyway, we're here today to bring you a very, very long overdue Canterbury Candle Tales video. It's been, uh, the last time we posted one was like November. So it's been like months. But we love Shan. We love Shan, we do. Um, so we're gonna run through all of the candles I've gotten since then, or at least all of the ones I can remember having gotten since then. Let's hope I remembered them all. All right, let's kick things off right away with a candle that was an exclusive in February called The Bells. This was inspired by the book, The Bells, and it smells like pink champagne, raspberry, and lemon macarons. I really like the label too. All right. It smells like dessert also because you know we, oh hey we never go i was expecting like high society and high and, and court intrigue i didn't expect cake uh obviously this is the book that inspired it uh the bells is all about beauty and people who have the ability to give other people beauty and what that means in a world where it's a commodity next we have Oh, can't do that one. Next, we have three candles all inspired by the same book. I'm not even going to tell you guys what the book is about because I've talked about it too many times. But first, we have Jude the Kingmaker, which is salt, elderflowers, and iron. Yep. <laughs> salt, elderflowers, and iron. That's what it smells like. Maybe you're secretly Faye. I was not. That is and it's like freaking you no, out. No, I don't want to be Faye. Um, okay, next is Court of Shadows, Darkness and Wraith Berries, also inspired by the same book. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I am okay. Faye. And last but not least, we have Cardin the Cruel Prince, which smells like tanny lions, fairy wine, and thorns. And if you guys haven't guessed, the book that inspired these Why three... am I fairy? <laughs> Someone's having a it's not supernatural fair. identity I don't crisis. read fairy books. I have nothing against fairies. Like, I'm sure they're nice. Well, not really, but... Anyway, those three candles inspired by this book. You guys already know I read this one and loved it last year. It's a face centered book <laughs> that involves a human girl who wants to find a place where she belongs in the world of fae. Well, I do flutter around the house. You know, if I'm not like- He really doesn't want to be a fairy, but that's fine. I don't really like fairies either, but you know, I'll make exceptions. I'm never anything cool. Next, we have The Hinterland, which smells like berry brambles, crisp air, and green apples. Also has this very nice label. Um, this was also a January candle. All of those were January candles. Um, there is a book that inspired that, The Hazel Wood by Melissa Alvarez, I was about to say it smells like a forest. Which is this really cool urban fantasy type story that involves a girl who is trying to make sense of the legacy that's left behind and also just try to find her mom. Also, it has a beautiful cover. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I don't know what these candles are. They come in the mail, I see them in boxes, but... The, Sometimes he watches me unbox. The added value to, that I bring to these videos is my sudden reaction to them. Um, this is one of my favorite candles. It's a custom candle I asked Shan to make after reading a book mm. and falling in love with a character in it. And it's called Jax and it smells like lavender and starlight and has an amazing label. If you can see that. Ooh, is it focusing? There it is. The only, the only Jax I know is from Mortal Kombat. Oh, well, this Jax He also had amazing. purple pants, so lavender. Uh, Jax is a part of Ooh. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston, and he is one of four POVs you get in this book, which is an Anastasia slash Firefly, a little bit of Guardians of the Galaxy all mixed together in a story, and it is wonderful. I cannot wait for the sequel. If Shan made soap, this would be amazing. Shan, hear that? I'm just saying, like, you could just totally... Like, okay, this is the candle that I think Shan is the most excited about to see what Maki reaction to it is. I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. It smells, it's, no, I'll tell you what it is, sorry. It's called Second Breakfast, <laughs> and it smells like blueberry pancakes, bacon, and maple syrup. Oh, great. Just before dinner, too. And... Oh, wow. We all know that it's inspired by Lord of the Rings, but I wanted to show you guys The Hobbit, because The Hobbit is my favorite. It's like I can eat this scone with my bacon. I, I just really want, see, now I want breakfast. How is this fair, though? Now I want scones. breakfast. Dick. Um, next is a custom candle someone else had made, but I had to snag one when I saw it. This is the Little Mermaid. It smells like lily, seafoam, rose, and citron. And I'm so excited about this because the Little Mermaid is one of my favorite fairy tales. And I also read an amazing retelling of it, but I'm not going to show you that. I'm instead going to oh. show you the Little Mermaid and other fairy tales by oh, by Hans Christian Andersen. And it's <laughs> like 
<laughs> illustrated by Mina Lima. So this is the pretty edition. Oh, the mini, yeah, the Mina like, Lima. A lot of fold out yeah. pages and like cool stuff in it. I don't know if that affects. I was expecting this to smell more like teenage, you know, like desperation. But... Ah! Well, fine. She is a very desperate teenager. Just saying. I'm, I'm not. We've been there, Ariel. We've I'm not, been I'm there. I'm not denying this. Well, some of us anymore. All right, moving on. We have. Chan has a collection of candles in her shop, uh, all themed after a certain thing, and we're gonna start with this one. It's called One More Chapter, Cotton, Pears, and Sunflowers, and obviously it's perfect for any bookworm in general. The book that I most recently associated that oh, feeling nice. with is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, which just came out. It's about two people in college, Penny and Sam, and they sort of meet at a coffee shop and end up becoming closer through text and, you know, honest confessions through text, and it's pretty great. I think I snorted part of that candle. It's good though, right? Like, it's nice. And... I want our whole room to smell like it, but right? now that's all I smell. <laughs> Too much? Uh, uh, just enough. <laughs> Next is also a one more chapter candle. This time it's called the Young Adult Edition, and it smells like sweet lavender, fresh cookies, and gelato. Because what Why is a wire? candle smelling like food? Oh my god. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. It's everything. I'm this. Sorry. I don't eat my candles. This is just like the perfect embodiment of that candle to me because Morgan Matson stories are always such a great young adult like summary things and the smells like just feel suitable for this one. This is about a girl who is trying to deal with things spiraling out of her control and making sense of her life after that. Awesome. Okay, next we have a candle that I really love. It's called Currently Blogging and it smells like sponge <laughs> sugar and fresh flowers and it has like a cute little keyboard on the label. Um, it's so cute. Sugar. The book that I thought of, I wish I had the original Mild. cover of this, but um, I actually thought of Obsidian. That is the first book in this series by Jennifer L. Armentrout because the main character in that one is a book blogger and I love that. Also, it's a basically a book that is about aliens who live next door to this girl and uh it kind of reminds me of roswell i can't say it the other <laughs> way around because i only started watching roswell recently so uh, all right roswell. we have four candles coming next which are part of a collection that is amazing it is shan's spin on the different houses in harry potter Ooh. so first we have queen of lions which smells like dragon fruit bravery and spice amber has a pretty red and ruby studded crown is what i wanted to say Obviously, we're gonna oh, show you. Oh, smells like the Weasley household. Gryffindor edition of Harry Potter. Oh, Box. this beautiful, pretty Gryffindor edition. Next, we have Queen of Serpents, which has all of these uh, pretty emeralds, and it smells like tequila, cunning, and avocado hibiscus. hibiscus. <laughs> um, yeah, I would shoot this. I would take a shot of this. Slytherin edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is the first candle I wanted to drink. Ah. Oh look, new, <laughs> new category. Next is Queen of Eagles, which smells like brown butter, caramel, wit, and huckleberry, and has beautiful sapphires on there, or it looks like sapphires to me. It smells like academic aspirations. The Ravenclaw edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And last but not least, because it's literally my favorite, and not just because I'm biased, uh, uh, Queen of Badgers, uh, Blackberry Loyalty and Honeysuckle, which obviously, Aww. Aww. Right? That's literally how I feel about that candle. Aww. Hufflepuff edition of that book. Yes, I'm putting my sinuses through this. I'm allergic to most things, by the way, but... Uh, apparently, he can actually manage to sniff all these candles. Okay, we have another custom that I'm very excited about. I'm not the one who asked to make this, but again, I had to get it when I knew it existed. It is a Dick Grayson candle. <laughs> uh, it smells like leather, smoked vanilla, sugar, and citrus, and it also has like the logo on it, which matches Bab's candle. And obviously, we're going to show you Nightwing because... Still haven't read this one, at least as far as I know. Yeah, this <laughs> I like her yeah. yeah, that's Grayson, all right. All right, yes, we know the women love you. <laughs> that's what you should I'm like bitter right and now. jealous. That's all that that is. Okay, Shan also, Shan has a lot of collections. So there's one more chapter, there's the houses in Hogwarts. Um, and also she has a collection of candles known as the reading line and I'm obsessed Ooh. with them So this year for her birthday She made a reading on my birthday candle which has rainbow cake on it, which is amazing rainbow And it smells like cake. cake fizzy champagne and sprinkles cuz you know party And the book I thought oh, it does smell like a party for that one is furthermore by Tara Moffey Which is sort of a middle grade spin on a Alice in Wonderland type story I just thought of it because the colors kind of came to mind and yeah and, okay, 
Now we're gonna move on to Shan's I'm flipping my hair like all the time. newest line. Her newest line is a romance line and she's featuring all kinds of romance and I love it so much. I think it's an amazing idea as someone who loves romance and who has finally, you know, admitted to it. <laughs> and I'm I, like, all right, we'll give it a shot. Um, okay, oh, that's not the right one. Okay, first we have Hate they to Love say. Romance. Uh, smells like fire, grapefruit, and vanilla bean. And the book, Hate, Hate to, to love. love. Your favorite trope. One of. Um, I thought of The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson, where the two main characters are kind of at odds. This is sort of a uh, YA spin on Much Ado About Nothing. Grapefruit. Right. Next we have, oh, I don't think I had a book for this one because I couldn't think of one, <laughs> which is sad. Um, we have Office Romance, which smells like woodsy <laughs> soap, citrus, and sweet spice, and it has this guy in a suit. I would like to point out that I really, really, really love this candle. I nominate Robbie and Real from the hit. It's not technically an office, but they are co-workers. That makes sense. There you go. There's your recommendation, guys. Uh, Good, right? I really like that one. Um, next is historical romance, which smells like sweet peach, cognac, and marshmallow. It has like pearls on the cover, cover on the label. I say, fine lady, hand me over that, that yawn candle. Castles by Julie Garwood, which is my favorite of this series, the Crown Spy series. It is about a princess who ends up living with a family friend who becomes her protector, and you know. It's a rather curious scent. <laughs> What? Next. Historical romance. What was it supposed to do with it? Next we have Forbidden Romance, which is <laughs> like ripe fruit, stolen looks, and magnolia amber. I love the label on this one. Um, the Weight of Feathers mm -hmm. by Anna Marie McLemore. The oh, two yeah. main characters who end up falling in love with each other are from families who are enemies, and it's very Romeo and Juliet esque. I like this one. Oh, good. <laughs> Go figure. That's okay. what I write about! Anyway. Next! And of course, one of my favorites is Regency Romance, which smells like lemonade, sweet musk, and violets. It also has a swooning couch on it, so. You is it know. gonna have like court intrigue? Regency Romance is. Alright. Devil in Winter by Lisa Claypas. You guys know I love this book. It's part of the Wallflower series. It's amazing. Read it. Oh, Regency is not like court. No, no, no. Okay, there you go. That's why I couldn't smell the court intrigue in this candle. Alright. Um, should I do Tamar Pierce next, or should I do like the three candles that are not gonna have any books with them next? Three candles, no books. I'll try to nominate some. Uh, okay. We have Reading on the Porch, Blackberry, Peach, and Sweet Tea. We actually have an old version of this label. This is just the new version. I have Reading in the Attic, but that's the never ending story. That one, okay. I would say maybe Divine Secrets, the Yaya Sisterhood, or the Magnolia League. Or Magnolia! It smells so good! Of course it does. You love it. I want to drink it! Oh yeah, oh, that's, the that's a new category. Drink. All right, next is Fitzsimmons, and it smells like sweet <laughs> pesto, galaxies, and a Oh my god, Ian and a Elizabeth. Moment of, a moment of silence. We need to like, in honor of them, we need to name like something Ian and Elizabeth. I know, right? Oh, yeah, this does smell like that. Right? An epic time traveling romance. All right, we're gonna move on to Tamara Pierce now. So you guys know that we talked about the Circle of Magic series and all of the books in that world last year, right? So I collaborated with Shan to create four candles for the four main characters. First we have Sandry, and it smells like cotton, jasmine, and magic. So you might want to put the books down because I don't think you can hold all of those. Hey, yeah. Does that smell like Sandry and Fatorin to you? It smells like the, uh, the fine lady, indeed. Very nice, very nice. Next we have Triss, and it smells like crisp air, lightning, and paper, which suits, my, suits our favorite redhead. Well, one of our favorite redheads. Oh, Yeah. Right? Yeah. It has just the red, like, sharpness yeah, she's to just it. Yeah, that thing. Because that's just sort of her personality, too. She's like a, yeah. Next is Daja, and it smells like copper, rosemary, hot coals, and the sea, which... That's where she was found. Yeah, this is her. Right? That's, that's, that's my dude right there. <laughs> Your bro. She's like the broest bro of them all, really. Even more than Briar, really. Even so Speaking much more of Briar, Briar, his smells like moss earth, herbs and pine, obviously, because he is a plant <laughs> Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, it smells like the forest. Okay, now we're gonna get really excited because the next few candles are all gonna come out in April. Ooh. By the time you guys see this video, they should be up in the shop and you should be able to buy them. In advance! So, first we have Reading in the Rain, which smells like falling rain in book pages. I am sad that I got it in the smaller size because it smells so good. Uh, the book I wanted to talk about with it. Oh, this is nice. First and Then by Emma Mills, which is basically a YA spin on Pride and Prejudice. 
Uh, it's really just the raindrops on the cover that made me think of it, so. Next, we have currently reading, but the spring edition, which smells like white chocolate cherry milk. I'm gonna drink this already. I just know it. I think, what, oh. Yep, totally drinking it. Scandal in spring, because spring was in the title, and they walk around in gardens a lot in this one, so. I think I'm inhaling all of the little candle chips. Oh, do you need a break? No, we're good. We have Boy Next Door Romance, which smells like peanut butter toast and grape popsicles. The book I wanted to show you guys, which is somewhere, is um, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, which is part of her Anna and the French Kiss series. And I nominate the first book I ever reviewed on Alexis' blog called Sophie and Carter. Oh, right. They are next door neighbors in that one. Oh, that killed me. Oh, we have the last three candles are three of my favorite candles that I've ever gotten from Shen because they're just amazing. First is One More Chapter, the Fantasy Edition. <laughs> and it smells like plum wine, dragon gold, and bergamot musk. And it also has a flipping fantastic label. Dragon gold. You know what book I thought of? The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill Aww. because it's just color wise, it matches the label like a teeny tiny dragon in this one also it's just a hey, wonderful hey it's not teeny tiny no i'm kidding it's part of the book it's a joke it's, of the book. I, I, it, it's just a wonderful fantasy read it is middle grade it's classified as middle grade but i think anyone who enjoys a good fantasy no, it's a, it's a modern this. it's a modern classic so good and then we have one more chapter the fairy tale edition which smells like pumpkin rose sea foam jasmine and apple bet you can't guess which fairy tale she's referring to with all those the pumpkin threw me off cinderella but sea foam though. Little Mermaid. Oh, it's all of them. Rose sea foam. Ah. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. Although technically this is about a villain, not about one of the princesses. Who cares? It's one of the most clever and interesting takes on a trope from a fairy tale that I've ever read, and I'm so excited for the sequel as well. So. And the last candle I have to show you is very special because Shan made me a candle. So this is the Alexa Loves Books candle and it's so pretty. It got trees and stars and the rainbow and it smells like jasmine, sea mist, and orange blossom, which are all scents that I really love and I really love this candle. It's never gonna get burned because it's too pretty. Oh, it is pretty. Right. The real one smells great too, by the way. But yeah, uh -huh. it's a great candle. I can have both. Good for you. Well, technically this is hers, but whatever. Conjugal <laughs> property, marriage, all that stuff. So, those are all the candles that I've gotten recently from the Canterbury Road Co. shop. I will leave a link to her shop, and I will also leave my discount code down no in the box. You should definitely get all these candles. They're so good. Shan is really, really good at mixing these scents together, and her candles burn really well. Like, the scents really carry, which I love. So, yeah, highly recommend them. And we'll be back with another candle video at some point, because I always am. Alright! Till next time guys, 